This is one of Taiwan's outlying islands of Jinmen. They're so far away from Taipei that from them you can see the Chinese city of Xiamen. Now China wants to use Jinmen to boost integration between its coastal Fujian province and Taiwan, a self-governing nation that Beijing nonetheless claims as part of its territory. China wants to accelerate gas, electricity and transport links between Taiwan's Jinmen Islands and China's Xiamen City. It also wants to build a cross-strait high-speed railway and give Jinmen shared use of a new airport in Xiamen. The announcement comes as China increases military pressure on Taiwan and as the democratic nation gears up for presidential and legislative elections in January. China has long threatened Taiwan with the possibility of military invasion, while at the same time trying to entice Taiwanese with business opportunities. The Taiwan government agency, which handles relations with China, said, as we all know, China is seeing an economic downturn, sluggish consumption and soaring youth unemployment. Its large real estate developers are seeing financial crises. There are systemic risks in the financial system and the operating environment for businesses continues to deteriorate. This concept is clearly intended to attract Taiwanese funds and talents to China to boost its domestic economy. Observers say China's proposal may fail. I think where it will get stuck is while uh, Taiwanese firms uh, you know, continue to have an interest in the China market, they are also interested in risk management, which means diversification. Uh, and also for uh, Taiwan citizens, uh, the question is, even if there are short to perhaps medium term benefits of living and working in the PRC, uh, the question is uh, whether it's a place for them to stay in the long term. Taiwanese companies have long seen China as a way to make money. But that interest is waning, given a slowing Chinese economy and the increased military tensions. Against that backdrop, the proposed integrated development zone may be a non-starter, unable to bridge the many differences between Taiwan and China. Patrick Chen and Louise Watt for Taiwan Plus.